Hello everyone, my name is Ray, today we're here to play some more Tales of Hysteria. This is part number 45. Thank you all for doing for today's episode. I was going to um, go back to the wetlands. There's one supposed to be here somewhere. Um, we're going to go to the wetlands in front of the... Ooh. You know what? You know what? Let's, let's go to the Litwerg Woods entrance. Maybe... Maybe the event has been activated so we can go in there and uh, find the guy. Remember the uh, last episode, they said that some dude, some professor fella was in here checking it out. I actually wanted to go through the ruins. Do that next time. Uh, well, we might be able to do it in this episode, actually. Oh, that was stupid of me. It was only Freeze Lancer, so it's alright, but still, no. Not a good idea to, to charge up our attacks like that. I like how I said that, and then immediately afterwards, the same thing that would have charged her. Wait, why were my martial arts charging up her? Maybe someone, maybe someone else was attacking her with seraphic arts, because my martial arts should not have. You have all things in moderation. My my martial arts should not have charged up her. Her seraphic arts, seraphic arts should have charged that up. I think I'm starting to more so get the hang of that. Now I have actually started another. This may sound weird to you guys, but I have actually started another playthrough on my oh god, on my own time. Um, mainly so I can go back through and uh, relearn the tutorial stuff because I noticed that I only really play this game um, when I'm recording. So I don't really sit down and read the tutorial, so to speak. I pretty much just go through it. Um, but like the whole seraphic arts, the martial arts, the hidden arts thing. I know um, we have when, when we're when we're armatized, we have seraphic arts and hidden arts. Um, when it's when we're not armatized, the humans have martial arts and uh, martial arts and, and seraphic arts. I think the, the seraph well martial arts and hidden arts. Whereas the Seraphim have Seraphic Arts and Hidden Arts, it's just, it's all this crap is weird. It really is kind of confusing sometimes. I'm gonna take that money, thank you, that military hike. Oh, 500, ready to go. Actually, I don't even know how many people get up. Yo, this video might not be uploaded on Friday, by the way, but it's not my fault. Alright, I tried to upload Thursday's video after I recorded it at 6 freaking 30 in the freaking morning. And, um, it took me, like, five times to upload it. YouTube just kept it. I don't think it's a YouTube-wide thing, anyway. Or either. I don't think it's a YouTube-wide thing, either. I just think it was happening with me for whatever reason. This hasn't happened to me before. But it was giving me just a bunch of just error messages left and right. Um, she looked like she's gonna die. This is the only reason why I did this. And I know they say, um, Ain't not to do triple attacks. A bit there, mixter? No, this is about normal for me. <laughs> I can't tell if they're getting more buddy-buddy or if that was homeboy just being sick. Matter of fact, I don't think we fought you, have we? The Cyclops with a Z, y'all don't understand. What just hit me? Not really. Just give us the battle tips, please. Yo, you're not weak to fire, are you? I was really hoping you wouldn't be, because if she was weak to fire, that would have thoroughly pissed me off by a little bit. But it was them! Why do y'all do something else? Y'all doing nothing but helping the enemy. You can't be doing that nonsense. Come on, son. Now, homeboy's got to be here somewhere. I wonder what way we're supposed to go. Oh, well, hold on. Well, it'd be easier if I was using the map, but I don't really want to get to that point. I don't like being reliant on the map. Makes sense to look at the map. Yo, what's good, baby? Lindwer. As with everything else, I don't give a crap about the um, placement of these guys just because we're going to be... All of these weapons are being replaced. Literally all of them are being replaced later on. There is absolutely no reason at all to give a single solitary doo-doo about these guys' skills and where they go right now. Since this Aquacilla wants to come and get this work, I will let her get this work. See, that was what I was expecting to happen the first time we did this. Resisted the physical attacks on water, so why do I keep using... Keep using physical attacks on a creature that's resisting physical attacks, because that makes sense. Hit her with that lion's howl real quick, because that's Earth, right? 
I'm pretty sure it's the only freaking Earth Element attack that I have. Which is actually... Well, no, okay. That cannot be true. But that is the only... Whatever. The only Earth Element art that I have that's worth using, I guess. Someone did it what I got. It's, it's, it's a reference, actually. If you don't get it, that's fine. If you do get it, that's also fine. Actually, it's better than fine. Hi, Lock, you said. Because my room is situated in a way or a manner that my lizard can come out and see me whenever he wants. He randomly just pops his head out of his tunnel. This is a... Uh... Yeah. The poor thing. Huh? Looks normal enough to me. But the tree. Because of the ivy, it... It's dead. The ivy used the tree for its own growth. But in the process, it blocked the light and the tree withered and died. Yes, that's kind of how nature works. But it's so sad. Oh. Wait, you're not thinking about how it goes between Seraphim and Shepherds, are you? Yes. Huh? How naive can you be? I know it in my head, but... Ugh, you're a Prime Lord. You should be stronger than this. Yes, I know. If Saray withered and died, it'd be your fault. Very much so. Then why don't you switch up your metaphor? Be the tree instead, who selflessly supported her viney companion to the very end. The shepherd's a flower, and he needs you in order to bloom. Yes. Huh? She's trying to cheer you up, Lila. Keep your footnotes out of my speech, thanks. <laughs> Oh, Edna, you're my favorite, even though Wyland's a beautiful second. The whole idea of her being so stubborn. Just, just say, you're trying to cheer her up. It's okay, girl. Oh, my God. Lila needs more than cheering up. Get that health maintenance going real quick. Holy crap. Woo! Lila's getting wrecked, son. I don't know what it is. These guys in this place are just giving her all of the business. Is this where we came from? That's where we came from. I'm gonna go this way, because it's not where I came from. I can tell, because the rock's still here! Bust. Rock. Bust. For some reason, it seems to... Uh -huh. No way to... Hold on. There's a dead end over here, which means there's something that I'm gonna miss. And I'm not missing nothing. That's why I don't want to miss it. Pick up that chocolate pudding. I'll take that. How's everybody doing, by the way? Grape gel in this bitch. Woo! You guys don't understand. When I get into the exploration, it's just all of the work. Ooh, there's three guys over here that want to die. Hi! <laughs> like your throat, Cyclops, Aquacilla. Uh, yeah, you're gonna need a ball bear. I'm at your service. Can you? Alright, after I kill this guy, you're next, Mr. Cyclops. Come here! Oh, I should have done backwards. Did I need that? Hold that form! I also want to get better at strategy. As in, get any at all. I don't really particularly think I'm ever going to be the type of person to give out orders on the field. Like, hey yeah, guys, you know, focus and... Pretty smooth swordplay there, Rose. They don't call me boss for nothing. Yo, dude, you need to shed. Talking to my lizard. You, um... Come here. You, um... You're looking all pale. You only look pale when it's time for the shed, and then you come out and you're pretty, pretty orange guy. That's actually really weird. Maybe he's just at that age. Well, all my lizards. No, that's not true, because they all be like that. Um, because, my God, these dudes, for some reason, the last, like, three months, these guys have been shedding a lot. Nobody cares, because they're, you know, lizards. They have nothing to do with the game. But uh, my little fancy leopard gecko here, who's currently walking into the log for some reason, with his eyes fully open, and then decides to walk over it. Oh, he's so smart. You're so smart. He does that all the time. So smart. Yeah, this is why I wanted to go into the, this thing right here. Treasure chest is locked. This is why I wanted to go into the... Come on, Scylla. Aqua Scylla, sorry. This is why I wanted to go into that uh, ruin. I'm pretty sure that... Um, I'm pretty sure that the gold key is in that ruin. That super super dark the walls are green but everything else is like mega black midnight black darkness of the dark darkness dark dark um that place you are oh bros is low on health so homeboy's over the yeah there he is homeboy's over there he's the one that we need to if we came here before talking to them and and getting that guy or whoever it was to say oh hey what's his face went over to the Let's back wetlands and went into the forest place with Jigger to uh, do some research. This guy wouldn't well, be here. Well, here comes trouble. 
Yeah, well, he doesn't care about us. Titan! What's good, baby? Level 55, resistant to everything but water and physical attacks. To hold back. Let's do this. Yeah. It's self-explanatorily huge. Uh, oh, I see. Were you hoping to explain? Hello. Hold on. Yes, with you. Good job. Come on, dude. I'm trying to block. I think I get caught. In it. I get caught too much in the actual combo. Because when I'm doing stuff, and then all of a sudden I try to block and it doesn't like that. Maybe I shouldn't just... Oh, they fuse. I was like, what the hell is this? Okay, they defuse. You guys are weird. Leave me be. Can I do something? Wow, that's terrible damage. I wasn't expecting to kill him, but my god. I'm gonna turn what's her face's uh Ooh! I'm gonna turn what's her face's Mystic Guard on uh here in the next like episode or so. Why can't I dodge this thing half the time? His his combos are too damn long being survey. We're survivors no matter the odds. We're all at full health, so why are you looking tired, hunched over and all that other pool hockey? Stop. Homeboy's here, right? This place this should is a be lot the more professor. dangerous than I thought. We need to find him. Quick. There he is. What was that? Are you that archaeologist? You... You just cut through those walking stones! It's not like that. It's called a heli... I get it. Okay, never mind. I'm not gonna explain it. It's just some of these things, I just... Yeah, I get it. Stay away from me, you monster! People are uh, weird. What's the deal? We came to save you! We're really after the Iris Gem. True, but Saray isn't just about that. Hey. Well, at least he's okay. Yeah, I guess. But still. Look, there's the Earth in Historia. That researcher dropped it. Well, well, <laughs> looks like we got a souvenir out of it. Is this really okay? That had nothing to do with anything, by the way. I just felt like doing that. I, I fully believe that that is a load of crap. I think that if someone in the world world came out and did that, there might be a couple of people who react like that. But most people aren't going to see a human being who's walking around protecting people and get scared and run away because he cut through a rock. People will be like, oh, cool, thanks for saving me. Um, how the fuck did you do that? Or whatever. Can I do it too? Can you teach me how to do that? People would want to be like him. I very much doubt that there would be a overabundance of people as dictated, as dictated, as shown in this game. As there are, I very much doubt that there would be that many people who are just scared to death of this guy. And there have so far been so many people that are either super grateful or they think he's nothing but a freak. I don't know. I just think it's stupid. Check out the Iris Gem. I don't think people would react like that. I really don't. Why is that door open? Fireball! You opened the door, didn't you? Apparently, I didn't close it, so that's my bad. I'll be sure to close that door when I'm done with this video. Yo, he's obviously nuts. Uh, that shouldn't... That shouldn't be happening. Love me, Dad! Love me now! Yes, yeah, so this video's being recorded on Friday. I'm hoping that I can get this bitch uploaded on Friday. If not, it'll be up on Saturday. I don't know what the hell is up with the the whatever. The glitches that I was getting yesterday. But it is what it is. That really happened? Hold, wait a minute. Why would they put that line in there? Why? We have known since the Earth and Historia were introduced that all they are are records of the past. Saray was one of the first people to mention. He should know that. I know. I do that too much. I just. Wording like that in games really just pisses me off. It bothers me. In an otherwise great game, when it comes to script at least, why would you ever put it to that kind of situation? When the rules were already explained earlier in the game by the characters? What the fuck is the point? Of having him act like he didn't know that really happened. It comes from the Earth in Astoria. And I'm pausing it. 
because this shit enters my mind and it bothers me. But I can't talk during the cutscenes because you guys already told me to shut up about and it. It wasn't just some random tragedy. Or while the cutscenes are you going, do you know, something like that the without right using now. seraphic arts. You mean a hellion or seraph used an art on humans? Most likely for revenge. Pretty disturbing art. No, more like pretty disturbing art user. But his family had nothing to do with this. Maybe the goal was to rob him of his purpose in life. Way more brutal than just walking up and killing him. But surely no one deserves that kind of treatment. No matter what they've done. Yo, I don't really... First of all, bullshit. Second of all, I don't really get it. Didn't they just turn the baby all messed up? And don't get me wrong, that sucks. But... I don't know. That seems a little bit of an overdramatic... Seems a little bit like an overdramatic... Um, conclusion that he reached, I guess. Oh, that kid was ugly as fuck! I'm, I'm leaving. I'm, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. We're out of here. That's, that's actually, I think, all that we needed to do in this place. Um, okay. Let's fight this Cyclops with a Z. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's fight these Cyclopses with Z. So, what's your weakness? You have none, but you're resistant to water and fire. I'll take that. Uh, okay, stop. Resistant to earth, I mean, resistant to water and fire. You can proceed attacking with both earth and, I mean, water and fire. Nope, she's... Leave me be. None of this. That actually was so close, it should have fought me. As a matter of fact, now that I think about it, that should have been obvious that that wasn't the way to go. I went that way because I thought it was the way out. But I know by now that the way out is that little... I guess it's supposed to be a trail, but that green icon... Hey, look at the pretty forest exit! <laughs> go! I wanna go into the... Too okay. bad, though. We didn't get to hear his stories about the ruins. It's alright. Even if we'd have met with him, he probably wouldn't have listened to your ideas. It's fine. But what we know is based on our own thoughts. After experimenting firsthand. Even if our conclusions are different. I'll say. Hey! Quit lollygagging, you nerds! Rose is still mad at us. You know it's because she cares. I know. I know. I'm cool with it. You guys are quite a team. She'd be like, move your ass! Come on! Put some hustle into it! Coming! Coming. What is she mad about? Mikleo said she's still mad at them. Or Saray said she's still mad at them, and Mikio was like, you know, it's because she cares. Mad about what? I don't know. Oh, shit. Seeing that movement option to the uh, Crucible Malevolence actually pisses me off. Because I just remembered that one that we could have probably used Ezel for that they probably won't let me do now. You, you're the new one. Stone Colossal! We've seen other giant Hellions, but this one's so huge! If you want to live, attack while distancing yourself. Yo, that's kind of an awkward thing to say when I offer, but an odd way to put something, considering what we just fought was self-explanatorily huge, I believe is the words that she used. Yo, he's got green stuff coming. You should be on your guard most when things are going Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what was that green stuff about, though? What was it? Was it mana? Oh, wait, hold on. Yeah, I thought so. I know I just said not too long ago I don't want to get dependent on the map, but... Okay. So the, the gold key's in this place. I'm pretty sure it's here. And this is so far into the game. Like, exploration-wise, other than like the last couple of areas that they... Wait. Hello? You want this work? Where'd you go? Don't get careless! Look at that mug. Would it really suffer till the very end? Then we'd better watch ourselves to the end. Uh, what are you? Oh, okay. Go ahead, Lila, handle that for me. Thank you, my dear. Uh, oh, he's weak to fire and fist. I'll take it. I was just trying to see what he was weak to. Hey. Well, that was actually pretty decent. Pretty decent, must be. If you're com complimenting me. Oh, say, lads, let's go on down to the pub and get, uh, you know, climb up a thumb and get a thumb up, yes. Oh, another new guy. Cool. Ugh. Uh, okay. I want to get this guy first. It's best to stay away if they're in a pack. 
that we can use focused attacks and physical ailments, right? Leave me be! So we want to be able to... What the hell is he doing? Why aren't you dead? Oh, okay, there you go. I mean, technically he was off, though. Technically he was already dead. Weak to win, huh? Man, you're pretty strong, Zadid. Well, you know what they say. You can never be too strong. And that's not really an explanation, though. I mean, I guess it's an appropriate response, considering it's Zavid who said it. I thought that was the wind one, obviously. Because I did the wind uh, move on my jigger first. Cheesecake! Ooh, you know what? That actually sounds really good right now. Open the damn door. That's the silver key lock. With silver chests in it. Ladies and gentlemen, men and women, if you had to label your chest, would it be bronze, silver, or gold? Comment below. Yo, what's up, big boy? See you later, loser. We're going to find us another guy to kill. Doesn't have to be you. Oh, I don't know why that symphonic sheet. Anybody remember Hooked on Phonics? Anybody? Her physical attack goes down, but I don't really care. She doesn't use physical attacks at all. She pretty much uses nothing but art attack. Her, her physical attack could be jack and squat, respectively. And she'd still be okay if her art attack was decent. Give him that raging wins, though. Woo! Yep, yep. Get changed without making a sound. Uh-huh. But can you sneak into your boyfriend's house and sneak out unannounced and unseen? and unnoticed and not in trouble everybody spray not in vain so wait is this this isn't the bottom floor is it there's another one beneath us i believe can't go that, way. that was a good thing oh did, no 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 leave me be big boy i don't want what you're selling i'm lactose intolerant uh i can't go that way I can go that way. Who's this? Bloody young kid! Let me talk to you real quick. You're the one that's resistant to wind, right? Oh, you're weak to wind. Is the, is the other one the one that was resistant to wind? Imagine if these stupid jack wagons could um, heal themselves. I need to... Alright, I need to heal up. Heal up. I need to rank up my whatever. my blast gauge so what that means is that I need to do a little bit of uh, upgrading to my equipment I'll probably have to do that off screen Lord have mercy is a fire it's raining men in this bitch uh, it's the I want to know where the next ruin is that we're going to that's gonna be dropping blobs and spiders and stuff from the ceiling is this the last floor I'm pretty sure there's one more after this, but there might not be. Yo, you know what? Actually, I've gotten, I've, got, I got a message. Well, hold on, I got a message not too terribly long ago asking why I do that. I'll be super quiet, super calm, just talking, and all of a sudden, just like, ha! Out of nowhere, people ask why I do that. Don't really have an explanation. It's just how I, oh, okay, just how I am. Rock Jack. Yo, I realized too that I was completely incorrect about these damn uh, dangerous encounters in this game. Um, the ability to get dangerous encounters in this game is the same as it is in the Berseria game, where you, uh, are you resistant to uh, where you just have to get two enemy icons on the screen at the same time, touching each other, or near each other, or whatever, but, um, it's different because in this game you can, it, well, in Berseria, what I thought was going to happen in this game, I guess because I was so used to that, was their levels always rose to match your own and you got a booty butt ton more experience than you normally would but in this game i guess since it had been over a year since i played it it's appropriate but i forgot and i got it mixed up in this game the way dangerous encounters work is the same way as far as the requirements to get a dangerous encounter however yeah the keys the keys in that through that door i think However, um, 
because this game has a way to naturally increase the levels of the enemies that you're fighting, i.e. using the Normans. Uh, it doesn't work like that with Dangerous Encounters. You don't get them to reach your level. You don't get more experience by doing that. Because you can just set Normans whenever. Um, the issue with that, it's again, it's like the leveling up process of the equipment. It's better in Berseria, and it's better in Zestiria. The, as in, there can be points and arguments made for either side. Um, in Berseria, leveling up the equipment is so much easier... Because you just need materials, or, or uh, yeah, different materials from that same category. Like, for example, if I was going to upgrade a copper anything, I just need to get copper anything, dismantle it, take the copper from it, and use that to enhance my copper sword, or my copper vest, or my copper boots, or whatever. Um, same thing with amber, and mithril, and iron, and gold, and void, and nameless, all of that stuff. You just need something of that kind. Whereas in this game, you need the, um, screw it. Whereas in this game, you need multiple copies of the exact same item. If I want to upgrade my amber boots, I have to have another pair of amber boots to fuse with it. I can't just take apart an amber sword and, um, use that to increase my amber sword or amber boots or whatever I'm trying to upgrade that's amber. If I'm going to do Mithril, same thing. Um, why that's worse is obvious, because I have to have the exact same type of weapon, the exact same type of armor, or the exact same ring, whatever. I can't just go around and find a bunch of crap from the same kind of material and then upgrade it. So it takes a little bit longer, you might think, but at the same time, it can be argued that it's better. Because the weapons are just needed one at a time. If I'm going to upgrade a copper sword to a copper sword 2, I only need two copper swords. And then that Copper Sword 2, I can just take another Copper Sword, add to it, and have a Copper Sword 3. I could take the Copper Sword 3, and then add another Copper Sword to it, and get a Copper Sword 4. As opposed to in Berseria, you need one, I would need one piece of Copper to upgrade that Copper Sword to Copper Sword 1. Then I would need three more pieces of Copper to upgrade that sword to Copper Sword... Oh, so I have to, I have to unlock that from the other side, that's fine, I'll go back down. Um, to Copper Sword 2. Um, then I would need, or what, what, did I say one or two? The first one, you only need one piece of, of whatever material it is to upgrade. Second one, you need three, then you need five, then you need seven. I believe the total amount, the total amount that you need to upgrade any weapon or any material in this game to its final form is just ten. The original plus nine more. So. Or rather, the, uh, eleven, because it's the original plus, uh, ten more, I believe. Even if I'm right or wrong, that's only a maximum of potentially 10 different weapons or armor pieces of that category, of that class. It has to be the same one, but you only need 10. Whereas in Berseria, if I remember correctly, you need 67, um, I believe. So, I would need to get 67 um, Mithril weapons. Mithril pieces of armor, Mithril scraps, in order to get my Mithril whatever maxed out. So couple that with, if I'm trying to get all of my materials for one person to be Mithril, that's um, over 200 pieces of Mithril that I would need to get just to upgrade that one individual's equipment to the maximum. Then couple that with the fact that if I'm trying to do it with all six of my team members, say I just really like the Mithril equipment for whatever reason, that will take literal weeks of grinding to get all of the micro necessary to do that. that. Good, For you someone like me, anyway, who doesn't have all day to just play video games because I have a full-time job and I have other responsibilities. So anyone who has a full-time job and other responsibilities wouldn't be able to just do that. Um, whereas in this game, as long as you know the... Um, I guess he's over on the other side. There's an enemy down here. Gold key, cool. So, whereas in this game, as long as you know the materials where uh, where the enemy is that can give you those materials, you just have to fight them a lot. And instead of needing 60-something, a couple hundred per freaking person, if you're going to get a full set of something, you only need 10 of that specific um, weapon or armor. Or why did I just get a topaz sword from a fucking... Well, actually, I guess that's not bad. It lowers my... Um, Art attack and my art defense, but increases my attack and physical defense. Let's, let's actually let's put that on. Uh, let's get into a fight so I can see what it looks like. There is no love for the wind element in this place. I haven't seen once 
I've seen fire, earth, and water. I have not once. Yo, what's up, baby? Void. Oh, that actually works on this weapon. Uh, is this the boss troll? Well, this only needed a silver key. What the hell? No, this is the zombie dude. Yo, he looks cool, actually. He looks like a specter. It's really weird that, um... I guess they did change it. Because in Berseria... Uh, the skeleton... Or rather, the zombie... Super monster... Is a skeleton dude. Whereas in this game, he's like a see-through whatever he's supposed to be. We will be killing all of them, so don't fret about that. They will all fall to our immensely powerful techniques and, uh... Super shitty strategy. But for this episode, I'm going to cut it here. So, thank you all for watching. As always, we finally got the gold key. So now we can actually go back. I don't know if I'm going to do that on screen. Maybe I'll, like, I'll probably record myself going around and getting every golden treasure chest in all the other areas that we've been to. Um, so possibly over the weekend. And if I find something good, I'll show it. Um, anything that I even remotely could consider good. Like if I just open it, it's like 30,000 zenny. Like, yes, that's good. But that's not a super rare equipment or hard to obtain material. So, or like if it's like some damn recipe, like super shortcake or something like that, I'm not going to bother with it. But anyway, thank you all for watching. As always, my name is Ray. Go ahead and follow me on Twitter if that kind of thing interests you. The link will be in the description. Let me know what you thought about this episode. And I would love to keep going. But I actually have to go play some Pokemon Go because your boy has been getting back into that. For the glory of Team Instinct, baby. Comment on the... Hey, you know what? Matter of fact, let's do that. Sure. This is not the new Pokemon, but since I brought it up, um, Team Valor, Team Instinct, or Team Mystic? Let me know. I'm Team Instinct till the day I die, or until the game makes me reset again, and then I join Team Valor because everyone I know, except for like two people, is on Team Valor. Anyway, until next time. Goodbye, everybody.